James Wan is James the Wine Guy in honor of National Chardonnay Day is this beautiful wine from Wednesday. Stay tuned for this review. Now I have reviewed this uh, particular bottle and it's called Eric's Chardonnay. I'll bring this a little closer and introduce the wine first of all. This is the unoaked uh, Chardonnay from Wente 2014 Vintage. Eric's Chardonnay from Livermore Valley, small lot, estate grown. Now this is a 13.4% ABV wine, back panel for your inspection right here. And um, what I think is fantastic about this producer is simply this. Uh, you want to look at the Wente family, it is the first family of Chardonnay in the United States and most of the Chardonnay in the United States uh, the clone is actually coming from the Wente clone. We still have so many family members that are intimately involved in Wente. You have Carolyn, Eric, Phil, Carl, and Christine. Now, I've had the privilege of sitting down last year for last year's National Chardonnay Day and having uh, dinner and as a celebration for the 125th anniversary of Wente Winery. So that was with Eric and Christine. So what I love about the Wente family is they are totally involved and um, really, really superbly nice down-to-earth people who are thinking of their wine production in terms of, you know, the heritage that is carrying from one generation to the next and not really seeking to, quote-unquote, cash out. That is really that, uh, you know, the name is on the bottle and uh, it's more that the spirit is there. It's to keep things going and to keep that heritage in front of uh, not just the nameplate, but uh, the family operation, the family touch. So for me, a fantastic experience to really put foot on ground. Um, you know, I've done so in the past, I'm gonna do so in the future. Now we have the 2014 right here. Now what we have is 2014 vintage, unoaked, Eric Chardonnay, Livermore Valley. Now this is a state fruit, small lot program. Back panel for your inspection right here. What you get from this is 13.4% ABV. This is a really glorious thing. I mean, when I think of that, uh, especially Chardonnay, Chardonnay is, in my opinion, it's really, you miss out when you get to the 14 uh, and above. I'd say 14 and a half is really pushing it in terms of alcohol by volume. It is just too much. And in many ways, uh, it begins to mask some of the you know qualities of the fruit. So as long as you are on the spectrum and you continue to go upward, the flavor characteristics do change. So here we go first to the scent characterization, flavor profile, and then the point score. So on this, I'm getting notes of uh, freshly sliced green apple, papaya, and uh, fresh flowers and trace spice notes as well. Next is the flavor characterization, then the point score. Lean, crisp. I think it's really fantastic in terms of getting a hint of papaya, green apple, a hint of mineral notes as well. Almond tea and white flowers. I give this wine a 9.3 out of my 10.0 scale. I think of this as 93 points out of 100 points. More information on Wente down below, absolutely worth a visit. So it's a great way of experiencing Wente. Uh, the total Wente experience, in my opinion, is really going through a really nice tasting as well as staying for dinner because it's a fantastic restaurant and uh, the summer concert series is there as well. So, and on top of that, you get some amazing wines and a great breadth and depth of variety. So stay tuned for more. More Wente wines, more wines from California, more wines from around the world. Thank you so much for watching me today. Stay tuned for more. And let's stay connected. I'm on a variety of social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Do me a favor, give a like to this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you again for watching today. Stay tuned for more. Salud.